Hello, and welcome again to Living English, where we practice listening to and speaking English. In each program, we look at a short drama, then practice our English. So let's watch today's episode of our drama, Sisters and Brothers. In the last episode, Anne was in her hotel room, but she was worried. Let's see what happens next. Hello, Barber's Private Investigation. John Barber speaking. Hello, can you find missing people? Sometimes we can. Have you lost somebody? Yes. Perhaps you'd like to tell me about it. Uh, can I make an appointment, please? When would you like to come in? Is tomorrow okay? Uh, l let's see. Uh, yes, I can see you at ten o'clock. Will that suit you? OK, thank you. Uh, 23 Mitchell Street, is that right? That's right, second floor. OK, see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Hello, reception. What time is it, please? Uh, it's five o'clock. And what time do you serve dinner? The restaurant opens in an hour and dinner is served between 6 and 9 p.m. And breakfast? Breakfast is served between 7 and 9.30 a.m., ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. I wonder what's wrong with Anne. You'll have to watch the next episode to find out. In that episode, we saw Anne use the phone to make an appointment. Let's listen again. Perhaps you'd like to tell me about it. Uh, can I make an appointment, please? When would you like to come in? Is tomorrow OK? Uh, l let's see. Uh, yes, I can see you at 10 o'clock. Will that suit you? First, Anne asks for an appointment or a meeting. Uh, can I make an appointment, please? Now try saying it yourself with the clip. Uh, can I make an appointment, please? Now listen to what John says. When would you like to come in? He asks when. He wants to know what time is best. Now practice saying it with the clip. When would you like to come in? What day does Anne want to come in? Is tomorrow OK? Tomorrow is the next day, or the day after today. If today is Monday, tomorrow is Tuesday. The day before today is called yesterday. So what time is Anne's appointment? Uh, l let's see. Yes, I can see you at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. We put o'clock after the number of the hour. 10 o'clock is exactly at 10, not after or before. Listen again and then try saying it yourself. Uh, yes, I can see you at 10 o'clock. John said, I can see you. He can see Anne tomorrow because he has that time free. He's not doing anything else. Notice also that we say at before a time. 
But where will the appointment be? Uh, 23 Mitchell Street, is that right? That's right, second floor. The address is 23 Mitchell Street. That's where Anne has to go. She has to find that building tomorrow and look for John's office on the second floor. She will have to take a lift or walk upstairs to get to the second floor. In our last episode, we looked at how saying the word will before words such as you or I is used in questions. Will I? Will you? This week, the word can was said before I and you to make questions. Can I? Can you? Listen for the words can you in this clip. Hello. Can you find missing people? Saying can before you makes a question. Listen now for can used before the word I. Uh, can I make an appointment, please? So which one of these is a question? Can comes before the word I. Can I make an appointment is a question. Say it at home. Notice also the way we say it. Can I make an appointment? I can make an appointment is saying that I'm able to make an appointment. Try saying it at home. I can make an appointment. Now listen for can being used after I in the same way here. Uh, yes, I can see you at 10 o'clock. Will that suit you? John says, I can see you at 10 o'clock. He asks another question. He asks, will that suit you? He means, is that time all right for you as well? Anne agrees that 10 o'clock is the best time. Listen to how she agrees. I'll see you then. Goodbye. Anne said, I'll see you then. We say then for any time that is not now. 10 o'clock tomorrow is in the future. Remember from our previous episode that we use the word will to talk about the future. Anne used the quick way of saying I will. I'll. Practice saying I'll see you then with the clip. I'll see you then. And you can see Michelle right now. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Brenton. Hello, everyone. What will we look at today? We'll look at words to do with time and clocks like these. First, let's listen to the clerk telling Anne what time it is. Hello. Hello, reception. What time is it, please? Uh, it's five o'clock. She says that the time is five o'clock. So it's exactly five. Not before five and not after five. What time is it in the studio, Brenton? It's half past eight. Half past... half of what? Half of one hour. An hour is 60 minutes, so half an hour is 30 minutes. 30 minutes past eight o'clock. Half past eight is the same as 8.30. Let's go back to our story. Remember that Anne has found out that it's five o'clock. What time is dinner? Uh, the restaurant opens in an hour and dinner is served between 6 and 9 p.m. In an hour means one hour from now. One hour in the future. Practice this. You could say, I'll see you in five minutes. Two days. I'll see you in two days. A week. I'll see you in a week. They all mean I'll see you in the future. In five minutes, two days or a week from now. So if it's five o'clock now 
and the restaurant opens in an hour, what time does the restaurant open? It opens at six o'clock. Now here's another question. What time is the restaurant open until? Listen again. Dinner is served between 6 and 9 p.m. If dinner is served between 6 and 9, then it is served until 9 p.m. And when is dinner served from? Dinner is served between 6 and 9 p.m. So they start serving dinner at 6. Dinner is served from 6 until 9. What about breakfast? Breakfast is served between 7 and 9.30 a.m. ma'am. She said breakfast is served between 7 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. So what time is breakfast served from? Breakfast is served from 7 a.m. They start serving breakfast at 7 a.m. And what time do they finish serving breakfast? They serve breakfast until 9.30 a.m. So they finish serving breakfast at 9.30 or half past nine. Of course, we know it's the morning because they are serving breakfast, but we also know because she says a.m. after the time. We say a.m. for times between midnight and midday. Midnight is 12 a.m. and midday is 12 p.m. Let's practice. Use a.m. or p.m. with these times. One o'clock in the morning is 1 a.m. Four o'clock in the afternoon is 4 p.m. Let's do some more times on the clock. What time is this, Brenton? A quarter past eight. 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. You could say 8.15 too. Mm. What about this time? That's a quarter to nine. It's not three quarters past eight? No, we don't say that. We say a quarter to nine. So you say past for any of the minutes on this side of the clock and two for the ones on this side. Yes, that's right. And the other way of saying the time is always the hour and the number of minutes after it. Yes, we can say a quarter to nine or 8.45. Okay, what's this time? That's 20 to nine or 8.40. Now it's your turn. What's this time? It's 10 to 9 or 8.50. What's this time? It's 10 past 8 or 8.10. It's also time for us to go. I hope you can watch our next program. It's all about how to ask questions. So until then, see you later.